Hello comrades cadets, another video in the playlist with reviews of different ship types. Today we will talk about a cement carrier's. These ships are created for the purpose of efficiently transporting cement and other similar cargoes, such as gypsum, aluminum powder and more, while maximizing efficiency. By their design, by dividing into compartments by the hull lines, these vessels are very similar to bulk carriers, but at the same time they differ greatly from them. And the primary distinction lies in their cargo system. It is specifically designed for transporting powdered hydrophilic cargoes. Hydrophilic refers to substances that have the ability to absorb water. The cargo system and the design of the cement truck are specifically created to protect the cargo from the impact of the external environment. This ensures that no moisture can enter the cargo area, whether it be through rain or air humidity. In principle, Cement can be transported on a regular handy-sized bulk carrier, but this is avoided whenever possible as cement is a very problematic cargo, and problems arise when cement mixes with water, which is bound to happen during the washing of cargo holds. If this wash is not done very quickly and 100% qualitatively, then the remnants of the cargo will become stone and will remain in the cargo compartments for a very long time. And this is not the scariest part yet. The worst part is that the cargo hold dewatering system will clog with cement residue which will turn into stone and thus disable the dewatering system. And even if the sailors make a very strong effort, the cement is likely to stay in the system regardless. Operators of shipping companies know this very well and only charter their vessels for cement when there is absolutely no other work for the vessel. In fact, due to the mentioned reasons, this vessel type, specifically cement carriers, came into existence. The main advantage of cement carriers is that they do not need to be washed for another load because they always transport only one cargo As a result of the design, cargo operations are entirely unaffected by the weather conditions that exist outside. If it is raining or humid outside, then there is no problem. Freight operations are carried out on closed lines. Cement is hardly transported by water in bags today. And one of the reasons is that the bags tear and they need to be made very strong which means spending much more money, and they will still break. Therefore, cement is now transported without packaging, and packaging in bags is done directly at the terminal after unloading on the shore. Also crucial when using a cement carrier is no dust forms, settling everywhere starting from the respiratory system of personnel and ending with windows of nearby residential buildings. And besides, this dust is very abrasive, she can damage a lot of things. From the lenses of your branded glasses to the bearings of any mechanisms and devices. Now a few words about cargo operations technology. Cement trucks can usually be loaded in three ways. Mechanical method is when the cargo from the silos on the shore goes to the ship through a closed chute and is directed to the necessary cargo compartments. Next, the pneumatic method is utilized when high pressure air is provided to the system. Cement is blended with air at this point, rendering it capable of being transported and is transported through pipelines directly to the specifically designated cargo compartments and also loading from cement trucks when hoses from tanker trucks are attached to the manifold. Cement trucks board capacity. Here cement also used with compressed air. It moves into tanks and into a distributor from where we open a pneumatic pipeline to the cargo compartment we need. A very important element of the cement truck's cargo system is the filtering installation, which filters the exhaust air and leaves all the dust on board. The unloading of a cement truck happens in similar ways, through mechanical conveyor method, as well as through pneumatic method. Freight compartments of a cement truck have a deck with surfaces with maximum slope, so that the cargo moves under its own weight. As far as I could observe during my practice, Sailors generally do not particularly like to work on such dump trucks because the work schedule is very intensive and the cargo device and the ship's device as a whole are more complex which means that many things need to be serviced and many things can break which means more work. Otherwise a cement carrier is a ship with a crew, a galley, a bridge, an engine room etc like any regular ship. Furthermore this ship specifically you. See now in the frame initially it was built as a small bulk carrier, however, it was later transformed into a cement truck. By the way, please take note of such a concept, conversion. This is when the structure and equipment of the ship are changed in order to change its purpose. 
After conversion, this ship ceased making global flights and currently operates in coastal transportation of cement. For a Korean company in the local area, on the web, I discovered data that in the year 2022, this vessel made a stop at the harbor. 140 times, that is, they work intensely. Compared to other types, there are not as many of such vessels. Currently, around 300 cement carriers, each with over 1,000 tons capacity, operate at sea. And about 200 very small cement trucks somewhere, which work exclusively on internal waterways. In general, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. If you have any questions, welcome to the comments. Also, dear colleagues, those who have experience operating cement trucks, please contribute and write a comment. I'll highlight comments with valuable info at the start. That's all I have for today. Captain Timur was with you. The lesson is over. Goodbye.